Uh, I think we have time for one more, and that would come from Ann, um, and would be addressed first to Mr. Scott. Um, Mr. Scott, uh, at the end of the last fiscal year, the state eliminated funding for the Eastern Regional Tourism District. Uh, you mentioned, uh, right. you alluded to this before. Um, was that a good decision, eliminating that funding? And do you think tourism is adequately promoted in the region? And if not, how would you go about improving uh, that effort? I think it was one of the worst decisions I've ever seen come out of Governor Malloy's office um, that they uh, cut uh, tourism to that level. As I, as I said earlier, uh, it was just f about four years ago where they increased the lodging tax for the sole purpose of uh, paying for increased marketing here in the state of Connecticut. Um, you know, for as I said before, for every uh, dollar spent, we get somewhere between five and seven dollars back in revenue to the state of Connecticut through various taxes, income taxes, sales taxes, that type of thing. Um, and the sad thing about it is that we've lost decades worth of knowledge uh, from these tourism districts. There are men and women that work for those organizations that knew that could be called upon to help plan an event or, or uh, you know, where different activities were. And I think in the long run, we'll we'll have some impact on small businesses here in the region who won't get uh, the business that they used to get because that knowledge base has been lost. Um, I'm a member of the Tourism Caucus in Hartford. Uh, we are actively seeking ways to uh, fix this situation. Financially, we may not be able to do anything for the remainder of this year, uh, but I will definitely be pursuing this uh, to get those funds reinstated. It, I asked uh, uh, Secretary Barnes uh, directly, what is the loss of income that the state of Connecticut is going to be receiving because you're cutting these marketing expenditures? And he couldn't answer the question, but he did acknowledge that there would be a loss. So I think that, you know, that there's sometimes you've got to spend some money to make some money. And uh, in this case, I think the state has made a poor choice uh, in, in cutting uh, those funds. Uh, what, you know, what has happened is that they're spending somewhere around $5 million. They're keeping all of that uh, uh, money in-house. Uh, they're not even doing the television advertisements. You know, you sit in the morning and watch uh, the Today Show, and you'll see an ad for New York or, or uh, Warwick, Rhode Island come on. Uh, we're not doing that same kind of advertising in other states anymore, um, but we are spending money, and I don't think they're spending it wisely, on, on Facebook and, and other ads because I'm seeing those ads on, on Facebook and, and Instagram and things like that when really they should be focusing that advertising dollar on people you know in New York and Massachusetts and Rhode Island to get those dollars to come here. So going forward as a member of the caucus, we'll definitely be working hard to get those funds restored. It makes sense financially to do it, and uh, hopefully we can make that work. Thank you. Ms. Conley. I will stand up to the governor. I completely disagree with his actions on the tourism. Our tourism and southeastern Connecticut needs those funds. I under I agree that maybe some of the other districts need to be less funded. Uh, there was a district in Norwich and a district in Willimantic that certainly doesn't get the tourism visitors that we get here in southeastern Connecticut. So we need to get that money back, smartly funnel it to the tourist areas of the state to get our visitors here because when our visitors are here our restaurants are full our stores are full people are spending money um, we have a great new product which is the water taxi which is getting visitors from Groton side of the bank to New London side of the bank and back that is an item that needs to be shown uh, because getting visitors to experience new areas of southeastern Connecticut will let them spend their money further to help our businesses so I will stand up to the governor to get this money back thank you we're at the end of our questions and about to start our summations. Um, I thank you both for your answers, and I invite Mr. Scott first to give us his one-minute statement. 